Okay. So this is continuing uh, continuation of, uh, of the previous lesson. The, in the previous lesson, grammar lesson, we talk about past tense. We talk about al-fi'lu al-madi. Okay, so something that has uh, that, uh, that took place in the past, you call it al-fi'lu al-madi. Okay, and we have also seen the changes. So zahaba, for example, we say huwa zahaba, huma zahaba, hum zahabu. Okay. So for those who have yet to do the exercise on this, uh, the verb conjugation, please do it and submit in Google Classroom. So far, I have only received from Izati. Yes. So please do it. Uh, because if you, do, if you don't do it, you will be confused when we learn this topic. Okay. Because you will see different changes. Okay. All right. Now. Uh, for today's lesson, al fi'l al mudari, it is called al fi'l al mudari, or we just call it fi'l mudari. Fi'l mudari. So this, the meaning of fi'l mudari, this is the grammar term, and the meaning of the mudari are this. I mean, I mean the equivalent of this fi'l mudari in English. It can be used for present tense. It can be used for continuous tense, either present or past continuous tense. And it can be also can also be used for future tense. All right. So this is the fail mudare. All right. So here I say that fail mudare. So these are the three usages of fail mudare that I mentioned just now. That the the the, the fail or the action that takes place in the present or is happening right now or that will take place in the future. Okay. So these are the three usages of fail mudare. And these are some examples of the fail mudare. And if you compare this to the to the lesson on fi'il madi last week, so I used the same verb exactly, the same verb. I but I what I did here is I changed it to fi'il mudare in the present tense forms. Okay, so for example, the first word is yazhabu. You can refer to the you can compare this to the previous lesson where in the previous lesson the the verb was zahaba, right? So you compare uh, both of the lesson. At the same time, zahaba now it becomes yazhabu, yazhabu. So what did we do actually in the fi'il mudare? So in the past tense it is zahaba. So what do we do is you add something in front of the word. Okay, you add something in front of the word. So in this case, what do we add? We add a ya. We add a ya. So for any word. You just add a ya, then it becomes fi'il mudare. So zahaba, you add a ya, but of course the word will read differently. So it is not ya zahaba, it will change to ya zhabu. How do you know it is ya zhabu? So here you need to refer to the dictionary. The dictionary will tell you is it how do you read the word. All right, but what we did here is just we add the ya. So this is what I did. I add the ya. Zahaba becomes yazhabu. So the second word, if you refer to the previous note, it is sa'ala. To ask, ask a question. Sa'ala. That is in the past tense, in the fi'il madi. What is the mudare form? You add this ya. So you add ya to the beginning of the word ya. But now it becomes yazalu. So it is good if you can write all the fi'il madi as well. So you again, as I said, go back to the previous lesson. You write fi'il madi for all of these words. So, for example, yal abu. So here, uh, so here, I, I, I had um, we have a mistake here. Please correct. It should be yal abu. It should be yal abu, not yal abu. Okay. What is the fi'il madi? Fi'il madi. If you refer to the previous lesson, it is la iba. La iba. Okay. So please do this. Write all of the fi'il madi so that you know the difference. Oh, when later on when you see the word, you know it is the same word. The difference is that this one is in the fi'il madi form and this one is in the fi'il mudare form. So uh, in the mudare, you will always have this letter in front of the word. Okay, so let us just go through the verb. The first verb is yazhabu, zahaba yazhabu, go. So now it is in the present form, present tense go or it can be in the continuous form as well going saala yas alu ask or asking asking laiba yalabu yalabu okay play or playing 
Yadrusu. Uh, so what is the Madi form? So find the word. Okay, look at the lesson, previous lesson. You will find Darasa. Darasa, Yadrusu. So Yadrusu, study or is studying. Yadrusu. Fahima. So Fahima, Yafhamu, understand or understanding. Yafhamu. Kataba, Yaktubu. Yaktubu. So Yaktubu is writing or write. Yasma'u. Uh, so the the fi'il madi is sami'a sami'a yasma'u so yasma'u hear or hearing kharaja yakhruju 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 going out or go out yarji'u return or go back so the the fi'il madi is raja'a raja'a yaskunu to stay or, or to live the fi'il madi is sakana sakana Yajlisu, sit or sitting, sitting down. What is the fi'il madi? Jalasa, jalasa. Yashrabu, drink. What is the fi'il madi? Shariba, shariba. Yabki, cry or crying. Fi'il madi is baka, baka. Yakumu, stand or standing. Fi'il madi is qama, qama. Yanamu, sleep or sleeping. Fi'il madi is nama, nama. Yusalli, yusalli, pray or praying. Fi'il madi is salla, salla. Yujibu, yujibu, answer or answering. Fi'il madi is ajaba, ajaba. And another example, yajtahidu. Yashtahidu is working hard or is uh, he works hard. Then you say Yashtahidu. And the fi'il madi is Ishtahada. Ishtahada. So in the end, when you study these two verbs, you will have your own list. For example, uh, you you write, you you have on this fi'il madin. And another one is fi'il mudari. Okay. So you should have your own list. Zahaba, what is the mudare? Yazhabu. So we need to memorize this. Zahaba, mudare is yazhabu. So next time when you want to use it in the mudare form or in the present tense, you know the word immediately. So this is just like in English, you, you memorize. Uh, for example, if you say go, when, gone, you memorize all of this verb. The same, it is exactly uh, the same thing that you need to do uh, in Arabic language. You memorize the verbs. Yes, zahaba in the mudare or in the present tense, yazhabu. Sa'ala, yas'alu. So you can populate your own list. Okay, right. So this is about some of the examples of uh, present tense. So for any question, before I continue with the lesson. Any have, questions? Yes. I have questions, Tess. Yes. About yes, the word, you solely. You solely. In Marti, we use solla. Yes, correct. In Marti, we use solla. Uh, should we change the ya at the back? Uh, if the mardi ends in special alif? Ah, okay. For this one, right? Okay. Thank you very much, Azam. Okay. Uh, in the previous lesson, I, I did mention that these two lines of the verbs, the first two lines, Zahaba, Yazhabu, Yazmao, these are uh, the uh, these are the verbs without any 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 problems. Uh, for the last line uh, if you still remember in the previous lesson I said the last line you will see some changes okay, you will see some uh, letters being removed some letters being changed so why because th there, there are reason for that okay one of the reason is because of these letters the ya the alif letters the wow letter here the alif in the middle so in this case uh, yes the ya in the end so in this case you have the ya in the middle Okay, but Yashtahidu, no. Yashtahidu is like the previous one. The last one, Yakulu, you have wow. So, if the words, if the verb has one of these letters, Alif, Wow, and Ya, so this, this, this verb, will you will see some changes to the verbs. So, that is why in this case, you see the word Salla, here, Sa'at, Lam, and then this is the Alif. But when it becomes the Mudare, you see the Alif is now changed to the Ya. So this is only for this word and other similar words. 
But uh, what is important for now is the top two lines, the top parts. And when we do the conjugation, I will only focus on this one, on these two lines. Okay, but not this one. This is just to give you uh, some vocabulary. You will learn this in the uh, advanced advanced uh, topic of fail modare. Okay, but today it is just the basic one. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you for the question. Yes, any other question? So now you understand what is fail modare. You want to change it to the present tense. You use fail modare. And how do you do it? What do you add to the word? What do you add to the fail? Yeah. In front. Yeah. Thank you. So first, remember you add yeah. Okay. So what do we do? We add a yeah. You add one letter, which is yeah. And the yeah, how do you read the yeah? Sometimes it is yeah, but sometimes it is you. It depends on the verb. So it is actually different from a verb to another. For example, if you look at uh, yaz habu ya, so this all start with ya, with a fatha ya, ya, ya. But if you look at ah uh, yes, you saw li, so now you have you instead of ya, it is you. Most of the time it will be ya, ya. But for some words it is you. So that is what that's why I say we need to refer to the dictionary. Okay. Yes. First you add ya, but later. You will see it is not just ya. Yeah. Later, you will see that sometimes you add ta. Sometimes you add non. Sometimes you add alif. So actually, you can add not just ya. Yeah, you can add any of these four letters. Ya, yeah, or ta, or alif, or non. But this is according to the domir, according to the pronoun. Okay, we will see that afterwards, all right? But at the moment, just remember, you can add ya, you can add ta, you can add non, you can add alif. So, for example, for the word ya zhabu, if you use the ya, if you use the ya, then it becomes, sorry, if you use the ya, then it becomes ya zhabu. But if you use uh, the ta, it becomes ta zhabu. If you use the alif, it becomes azhabu. If you use the known, later it becomes nazhabu. So if you see any of these letters in front of a verb, alif, ta, ya, and non, so these are all the fe'el modare. All right? Okay. So the question is, when do you use all these letters? When do you say azhabu or tazhabu or nazhabu or yazhabu? Okay. This is... Muzakar Mu'annas. Muzakar Mu'annas. Uh, that is part of the answer, yes. Sometimes you want to use it for Muzakar Mu'annas. Yes, you need to change from Ya, for example, to another letter. Yes, that is correct. But the, the another answer is because you want to use it for different person. If you want to use it for I, then you don't say Yazhabu anymore. You will say Azhabu. If you want to use it for We, you don't say Yazhabu again. You say Nazhabu. If you want to say you, you go, you will not say yazhabu as well. You will change to tazhabu. So basically, when do you see this? When do you change to ya, alif, ta, or non? It depends on the uh, on the on the on the pronoun, on the person. Who who is that person? Okay. So to understand that, yes, we need to see this. So we will need to see this. The changes. This is the similar changes. Oh, sorry, this is the this is uh, similar to the one that you have seen in fail Maldi. But before we look at this, so this is another point that you need to understand for this topic. This one. So previously, I said that for fail Maldi, you use it for the one that takes place in the present or the one that had that is happening right now. But sometimes, or you can also use it to uh, for something that will take place in the future for future tense. So in order for you to uh, change this mudare or to use this mudare for future tense is here by adding these two words. By adding either sa or saufa to the verb. Sa or saufa to the verb. For example, the verb yazhabu. 
For example, the verb yazhabu. Yazhabu, at the present. He goes or he is going, you say, yazhabu. But how do you say he will go? Uh, to say he will go, you add this ya. Uh, sorry, you add this sin. So yazhabu, now it becomes, you just combine the sin. Just join the sin to the letter, that's all. So now it becomes sa yazhabu. Sa yazhabu. Okay, so by adding the sa, now it becomes, you add the meaning of will. Will go. Sayazhabu. That is number one. Number two, you add saufa. Saufa. And if you add saufa, of course, they become the two, they become two different words. So they, they must be, I mean, they must be separated. Saufa, do, you don't join with the word yazhabu. Not like the word sa just now. Sa, you join the sa with yazhabu. Sayazhabu. But for saufa, we separate the two words. Saufa. Yes, habu. So these are the two words that you can use to say will, will go, will eat, and so on. The difference between the two. What is the difference between sa and saufa? When I say sa, normally it is for the near future, maybe tomorrow. Maybe, for example, just now I asked you to send your video. So you say, I will do. Sa as habu. and I will do. So when you say sa, it means that you will do it maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Sa. But if you say saufa, if you say saufa, then you will do it maybe after a month. Maybe after a year. Maybe Allahu A'lam. You will do. But when? I don't know. Okay. So this is the difference between sa and saufa. So sa is for the near future. Maybe after a while. Saufa, maybe after two or three months or two, three years, or for one, one day. You will do it, but when, you do not know. For example, I ask you, when are you going to Makkah for Hajj? Saufa Azhabu, I will go. But when, I don't know. But I will go, inshallah. So this is the difference between Sa and Saufa. Okay, any question here? So you can add this Sa. Yazhabu, add Sa, become Sa Yazhabu. Sa Yazalu. Sa Yalabu. Sa ya drusu, until the end. Sa ya jtahidu, sa ya kulu, until the end. So you add the meaning of will. Or you can say saufa, saufa ya sma'u, saufa he will, saufa, saufa until the end. Right? So this is how do you change from regular fa'il mudare to future tense. Yes, any question? I have a question, Ustaz. Yes, please. Does that mean that we use saufa when we cannot determine the future and one of, one of the meaning yes if you do not know when is it in the future you will say so far but of course we expect when you say so far it is something that is very very far we do not know when you say so far as the habu yes or you know it but the duration is like Maybe after two, three months, maybe after one year, uh, then you also say sa, saufa. So in the end, sa and saufa, you, you, you determine. If you think that one, uh, if you think that uh, one month is, is not, it, it is not along, uh, it is near to you, then you say sa. But for some people, one month is, is quite a long time. So it depends on you, yourself. Okay. Thank you, All right. Sir. Yes. Okay, now we look at this one. We have five more minutes. Let us finish with this one. Okay, this is now the jadwal, the table for tasrif. Tasrif is, is the conjugation of the fi'al mudari, for fi'al mudari. Okay, so again, as uh, what we have learned in fi'al madi, there will be 14 changes. Why 14? Because the changes are according to the domir that we have also learned in one of the lessons. Hua, huma, hum. Here, huma, huna. So you might want to refer to the lesson on Tomir to understand what the, what the meaning of this huwa, huma, hum. Here, huma, huna. Anta, antuma, antum. Anti, antuma, antuna. Ana, and also, nahnu. Alright? Now, for the word yazhabu, we look at the word yazhabu. Yazhabu, go. Or is going. Or sa yazhabu. Yes, you can add sa as well. Sa yazhabu. So for all these words, when they start with a ya, then the meaning is always for huwa. Okay, so it is for huwa. Huwa. So, huwa, we say yazhabu. For all these words that we 
saw in the list. So these are all for huwa. So when we translate, of course, in the dictionary, they will just give you the meaning the, to go. Sa'ala, or yes, alu, to ask. But in the sentence, it depends on the, on the context. It can be he goes, or he, will, or he is going, or saya zahabu, he will go. So it depends on the context. But what is important when you say ya zahabu this year, this is always for huwa, he. Yas alu, huwa, he as. Yal abu, huwa, he play. Yadrusu, huwa. So these are all for huwa, he. Right? These are all for huwa. Now, with regard to the changes, okay, I forgot this one. So the changes for the fi'al mudare, if you still remember, for fi'al madi, the changes are all in the end. For fi'al madi, past tense. The changes are like zahaba, zahaba, zahabu, zahabat, zahabata, zahabna. So the, the changes are all in the end. Zahabtunna, zahabtu, and zahabna. Okay, that is for past tense, for fi'al madi. But for fi'al mudare, the changes is either at the beginning of the verb. So when it is at the beginning of the verb, so this is using one of the four letters that I mentioned just now. The ya, the ta, what else? The alif, and another one is the nun. Uh, so you will see one of these. Sometimes it is ya zhabu, ya. Sometimes it is ta zhabu with ta. Sometimes it is with a, azhabu. And sometimes it is with na, na zhabu. So this is what it means here. At the beginning of the verb. And sometimes you will see the changes at both the beginning and the end of the verb. So sometimes you have ya in the beginning, you have ya or ta or alif or nun, but you have additional letters here in the end as well. Okay, so this is what we are going to look at the table. All right, let us look at the table. So for example, the fi'il yazhabu. When it is for huwa, we say yazhabu, yazhabu, okay? But when it is for huma, now this is huma, two, male and two. Huma, we use the same letter, ya, ya, yazhabu, but in the end you add alif and non. So it becomes yazhabani. So the changes here, let us highlight the changes. You use ya and you add alif and non. For huwa, it is only ya. Okay, so this is what you need to uh, understand. What do you add to the beginning of a verb? And what do you have uh, at the end of the verb? Huma, again, huma, because this is for male, muzakkar, we use ya. So ya is for muzakkar. Huma, ya is for muzakkar. Why do we have alif and non? Because of huma, too. So when it is two, you add alif and non. So we say yazhabani. Hum, this is for many, plural. They, again, from, since this is muzakkar, we use ya again. Yazhab, but since this is jama, then we add the wow and nun. So we say hum yazhabuna. So huwa yazhabu, hum yazhabani, hum yazhabuna. Now we go to hiya, she. Hiya, now this is mu'annas. So for mu'annas, you change from ya, you change to ta. So now we say hiya tazhabu. Hiya tazhabu. Huma. Two. Because this is for mu'annas, we retain the ya. Tazhabu. But since this is for two, you add alif and nun. So you see here alif and nun and alif and nun because it is for two. Yazhabani. But here it is tazhabani because of the mu'annas word. Huma. Jama. Hunna. Okay, for hunna, it is a bit weird. Because just now, when it is mu'annas, for female, you use a ta. But for hunna, this is the only mu'annas that will use a ya. This is the only mu'annas that will, will use a ya. They. So they, female, then you say yazhab. Yazhab. And in the end, what do you do to the fi'el? You add non. You add non. And not just non. The letter before non, you change to a sukun. Okay, so now it becomes yazhab, uh, not yazhabu. Previously, you have yazhabu, yazhaba, yazhabu, yazhaba, yazhabu. But now it ends with sesukun, so we say yazhabna, yazhabna. Okay, next one. Anta, so now this is for anta, you. Anta, we use ta. Anta tazhabu. 
So here it is similar to here. So that means that the word tazhabu can be used for both. Either she, here, or anta, you, depending on the context. So if it is on the context about a female, then tazhabu is for she. She goes. If it is a conversation between two, then tazhabu means you. All right? So you look at the context. Tazhabu. Antuma. Antuma. Tazhabani. Again, for antuma, we use ta. But since this is for two, we add alif nun. So here, alif nun is similar to this one. All right? Tazhabani. Antum. Tazhabuna. So for antum, again, we use the ta. But in the end, you have wow and nun. Because this is for jama. Jama. And muzakar. Muzakar. So you use the wow and nun. Anti. Okay. What about anti? You want, you want to use it for you, female. Anti. So for anti, we use ta again. We use ta, but in the end, you use this. Alif and, you sorry, ya and nun. So we say tazhabina, tazhabina, anti tazhabina, anti tazhabina ilal jami'ah. You are going to the jami'ah, to the university. Okay, so anti tazhabina. Antuma, antuma tazhabani, antuma tazhabani. You have the ta and you have the alif and nun. So here... This is similar to antuma here. Tazhabani, tazhabani. So it depends on the context, whether it is for muzakkar or mu'annas. And if you look at homa here, it is also the same word. Tazhabani. So again, it depends on the context. So it can be you, both of you are going, both of you are going, male and female, or both of them are going for female. So this will depend on the sentence, on the context. And... Antuna, now to say Antuna, all of you, female, Antuna, so the word Tazhabna, you use a ta, and in the end you have this nun, and also a sukun. So this is similar to this one, except that for Huna, you use ya, Yazhabna, but Antuna, we use ta, Antuna, Tazhabna. And finally, for Ana, you want to say I, what do you do? you change to alif. So we say, ana azhabu, ana azhabu, ana azhabu. I don't say yazhabu, ana yazhabu, wrong. Ana azhabu. And finally, for nahnu, you want to say we, you change to nun. So you say, nahnu nazhabu, nahnu nazhabu. Okay. So if you look at the table, the one that you add to the beginning is only for huwa, for hiya, for anta, for ana, and for nahnu. But the rest, you have, you have to add the beginning and the end. The beginning and the end. Okay? So please study this. Please look at this carefully. Study them. And then you can compare to the table number two. To table number two. Yarji'u. This is for another verb. Yarji'u written. So you will see what will happen to the verb. And also to the third one. Ya'kulu. It. Okay? So, so study this. And we will continue in the next lesson, inshallah.